Hi, I am Vikas Faroop, a novelist and a former member of the Indian Foreign Service. Today I am going to share with you my journey, both as a writer and as a diplomat. I graduated from Allahabad University with modern history, psychology and philosophy as my subjects and appeared for the civil service examination with psychology and philosophy for my mains. All the international writers I had read had created in me a longing to visit the places they had written about and that is why I was keen to join the Indian Foreign Service. At that time, only 12 candidates could make it to the IFS and I was fortunate to be one of them. I joined the Foreign Service in 1986 and my diplomatic career took me all across the world. My first posting was Ankara, where I learned my compulsory foreign language, which was Turkish. After Turkey, I returned back to Delhi to the Ministry of External Affairs, where I served as Under Secretary for Southern Africa and later the United States and Canada. After that stint, I was posted to Washington DC as First Secretary and Special Assistant to the Ambassador and got to work closely with two eminent ambassadors Dr. Siddharth Shankar Ray and Mr. Naresh Chandra. From Washington DC, I was posted to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. From Ethiopia, I went to London, where I worked as the political counselor. After London, I came back to Delhi and served as director in charge of Pakistan before becoming the director of the office of the Minister of External Affairs, who was Mr. Natwar Singh at the time. My next posting was Pretoria, the capital of South Africa, where I served as deputy high commissioner. And from Pretoria, I went to Osaka Kobe, Japan as Consul General. After Japan, I returned back to Delhi and became the Joint Secretary in charge of political affairs at the United Nations before being appointed as the official spokesperson of the ministry. After 35 years in the Indian Foreign Service, I retired in June 2021 and am now anchoring a weekly show on Sunset TV called Diplomatic Dispatch, which aims to demystify diplomacy and make it accessible to everyone. I got to serve in four different continents, got to meet world-famous personalities from Nelson Mandela to Olympic champion Haile Gebre Selassie to Barack Obama. And most importantly, I got the privilege of representing my country at the highest international forums. So let's get acquainted with these nuts and bolts. And let's start with the most basic question, what is diplomacy? Diplomacy is defined in the dictionary as the established method of influencing the decisions and behavior of foreign governments and peoples through dialogue, negotiation, and other measures short of war or violence. Historically speaking, India has been most prosperous and stable when she has been most connected with the rest of the world. The period since 1991 has therefore seen a much more active Indian engagement with the neighbors, whether through repeated attempts by successive governments to improve relations with Pakistan, or the border-related confidence-building measures with China, or free trade agreements with neighbors, starting with Sri Lanka in 1998, or the Ganga Waters Treaty with Bangladesh. So diplomats are constantly communicating, explaining, listening, understanding, and persuading. This is the real charm of the Foreign Service, the sheer range of experiences it exposes us to. But nothing, nothing can beat the sheer thrill of flying India's flag, representing my country, speaking from a podium behind a placard which says India, as I did from the horseshoe of the UN Security Council in New York. You don't need to go to Dune School or St. Stephen's or study at Oxford to qualify for the Foreign Service. You don't even need to have a diploma in international relations. You can study anywhere and come from any background and get into the Foreign Service because the training starts later at the Sushma Swaraj Institute of Foreign Service. We now have plenty of doctors, engineers, lawyers, and MBAs in the Foreign Service. So the first thing the IFS inculcates is a respect for diversity. Diversity adds value to society and enriches our potential for connections around the globe. The second thing that a career in the Foreign Service teaches is to develop a comparative scale. You realize where your own country has done well and where it could do better. In fact, one of the tasks of Indian diplomats is to understand best practices from across the world and convey information about them back home for adoption in India. The third thing you learn is patience. Diplomacy is not instant noodles. It takes time for diplomacy to bear results, sometimes years and decades. As a 5,000-year-old civilization and the largest democracy in the world, India is heard with respect and Indian diplomats are taken seriously. As a country representing one-sixth of humanity, 
India is an important pole of the emerging multipolar world. The choices India makes will have ramifications for the entire planet. We have already become a global leader in renewable energy, in pharma and IT. Our technical and economic cooperation program is transforming lives in more than 160 countries. Our space program is making giant leaps. In our open and dynamic economy, our strengths in software and services are attracting the attention of global investors. So when India speaks at international forums, its voice is heard with respect. That, to me, is the real strength of Indian foreign policy, that we can be friends with everyone. So diplomacy matters, foreign policy matters, and if you have the aptitude and the interest, then a career in the Indian Foreign Service beckons. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you want to watch the full video, let us know in the comment section below.